honestly, I, I'm deeply troubled that the uh, FBI conducted a search warrant in the home of a former president of the United States of America. Never happened before. Uh, and last week and again this week, I called on Attorney General Barron Garland, as Senator Grassley has done, to bring forward the information to the American people to explain why this was necessary. This unprecedented action by the Attorney General and the FBI merits uh, un unprecedented transparency. The American people have a right to know why it was necessary to execute a search warrant at, at the hall of a former president of the United States. And I'm going to continue, and I know Senator Grassley and his role as ranking member of the Judiciary Committee is going to continue to demand answers from Attorney General Garland and from the Justice Department. But that being said, I, the Republican Party is the party of law and order. Republicans stand with the men and women who serve in law enforcement at every level, local, state, and federal level. Uh, and as I said this week, I, I think the calls to defund the FBI are just as wrong as calls to defund the police. We, we, we should be standing with the men and women of law enforcement, and we should recognize it. we can hold the Attorney General uh, and the Justice Department accountable. We can demand that they reveal why the search warrant was executed against the residents of a former president of the United States uh, without demeaning the rank and file men and women of the FBI. And I'm not going to continue to be a voice for that. Last question. Last question. Do you plan to run for the IOC for the well, I, I'm in Iowa. I'm in Iowa for one reason, one reason only, and that is that Iowa and America need six more years of Senator Chuck Grassley in a Republican majority in the Senate. And I can tell you, I, I've been traveling all across the country, and 100% of our focus has been on doing our part to win back the House, win back the Senate, elect and re-elect Republican governors all across the country. And after the first of the year, my family and I will do as we've always done, that is reflect and pray on where we might next serve, where we might next contribute. But today, it's all about winning back to Congress and re-electing Senator Chuck Grassley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.